So in CB characteristics, we will be discussing what are all the capacitance effects associated with an NMOS. Here we will be discussing only NMOS. Uh, okay. uh, first, I will show the different uh, capacitance effect which is associated with uh, NMOS. So consider uh, this diagram. We will be having these many capacitance uh, associated with uh, your N1. So we will be having a capacitance between daytime source, daytime drain, uh, drain and body, source and body, and gate and body. This type of capacitance effect are uh, associated with your uh, uh, NMOS. Out of which, a uh, few capacitances are uh, good for the circuit and uh, some capacitance effects are negatively affecting the uh, working of the circuit. The ne negatively affected uh, capacitance are known as parasitic capacitance. You might have heard about uh, parasites, so which will uh, uh, live on the branches of uh, big uh, trees. So likewise, uh, the parasitic capacitance will negatively affect the uh, working of your uh, normal NMOS or NMOS. So initially, we will be starting with a simple MOS model. So here, this capacitance we have discussed yesterday while uh, deriving the expression for output current. Uh, so CG is the gate capacitance connected uh, formed uh, with respect to gate and uh, gate silicon dioxide layer as well as the channel. So in between only gate capacitance was formed. For our convenience, we are uh, taking the capacitance value of gate capacitance as C0. C0 is the gate capacitance. So uh, we will be discussing how this capacitance is shared uh, uh, in each and every operating region. So if you consider uh, cutoff region, what is the capacitance value? And uh, linear region, what is happening? And how the capacitance is shared between, the total capacitance is shared between uh, gate source and gate drain. And in saturation region, if you see a uh, pinch of uh, effect will happen, how uh, the charge is stored at that time, what is the capacitance value, all these uh, things we will be seeing here. Uh, you might have uh, seen this uh, geometry of diffusion capacitance while uh, designing your layout. So it is a vertical view. So if you turn your system and if you see seeing as horizontal, you can able to understand clearly. Uh, this is the connection of two different uh, NMOS switch you see gate source gate drain which is connected to source gate drain of uh, another uh, uh, transistor this is the cascaded connection or series connection of uh, two different transistors uh, this you might have drawn in different view the a circuit refers you have uh, drawn this one more separately and uh, this one more separately and you have done the connection so you see here a shared diffusion region what they have done is they have connected this drain here and they have taken a common area at this point. So this will be a uh, source, this will be source and uh, this will be the drain. Here the connection is happening between two drains. In this section they have shown the connection between one source and drain. Here they have uh, shown the connection between uh, two drains here. So these two will be the source. So here they have uh, done the shared diffusion. This is another thing, merged diffusion. We are not uh, showing any drain regions here because both are connected together. No need to show any contacts here because both are connected. Unless otherwise, we, if we are taking any connection from this point, we need to connect or, uh, any uh, interconnect here. Otherwise, not required. Uh, this is the thing what I have mentioned. We will be uh, discussing about uh, how the uh, uh, capacitance value will uh, vary at each point of uh, uh, region of operation. So that can be understood very easily at this uh, table. So initially you will be having only uh, in cutoff region. I am discussing about the cutoff region initially. 
uh, in cut off region there is no channel uh, since uh, there is no sufficient input voltage to make the inversion happen so all these charges will be available only in the body so there is no channel formed so uh, this capacitance effect uh, is happening due to uh, the capacitance between gate and body because all the uh, uh, charge carriers are reside only in the body so we didn't apply any input voltage to the gate to make the inversion happen so all the capacitance uh, the charges which will reside uh, in the uh, charges will be reside inside the uh body alone so i have i have already mentioned right the total capacitance we are considering as c not so this capacitance will reside only between gate and body in cut off region because we don't have any inversion happen so as we are increasing the input voltage your uh, transistor will move on to the linear region so here uh, channel is formed so inside the channel only we have the charge carriers that constitute the current we are not considering other charges which is reside in the body now because the now channel is formed so only due to uh, the uh, available charges inside the channel the uh, current is going to flow so at that time uh, we have a perfect channel in linear region we have a perfect channel between source and drain now the charges will be divided equally between source and uh, gate and uh, uh, drain and gate. so cgs and ccd that's why c not by 2 c not by 3 so it will be equally divided between source and drain so now uh, when channel is formed uh, complete uh, charge will be divided equally between source and uh, gate and uh, drain and so in the third region that is in the saturation region uh, the pinch off happen and uh, we don't have any channel near uh, drain so there won't be any value between uh, gate and drain so 1 by 3 of the uh, charge will be uh, pulled out due to the uh, pinch off region near uh, drain so uh, the remaining 2/3 of, of the c not value will be associated with the uh, cgs so due to pinch off region only we are losing that 1 by 3 c not here so if you add uh, if you can uh, take the total of uh, each and every uh, capacitance value in different region so cg the uh, total gate volt uh, gate capacitance will be equal to uh, cgb plus cgs plus cgd so in the cut off region we ha don't have any channel so there is no cgs and cgd so c no so in uh, linear region we don't have a, we not we don't consider the remaining charges we will be considering only the charges which is reside in the channel that is half between cgs and another half uh, between cgd so c not plus c by 2 plus c not by 2 that is c not so in saturation region we don't have uh, this cgd also because the uh, channel got pinched off uh, one by third of the c not will be lost eh? so remaining two third of the uh, c not will be available and uh, cgs so the uh, in saturation region also the output uh, sorry the total uh, capacitance will be 2 by 3 of c not because of the but we have to consider uh, uh, two another uh, uh, capacitance value also why because whenever we say about uh, channel uh, there will be always source and drain there will be an overlap to the gate so this is the practical circuit so while drawing normally we will be drawing this source and drain separately and gate separately but in practical cases not like that uh, always there will be a small overlapping region at uh, between source and uh, gate as well as uh, uh, gate and drain so due to that overlap we will be having gate uh, overlapping uh, capacitance as well as drain overlapping capacitance so we have to consider that effect also uh, the both value will be equal 
uh, the gate overlap gate source overlap and the gate drain overlap value will be always equal so the total gate capacitance will be plus 2 of that uh, overlapping capacitance value so this total value is p not plus 2 over 2 into overlapping capacitance the 2 comes because uh, we have to consider both the overlapping Uh, between gate and source as well as the overlapping between uh, gate and drain so both the values are same that's why we are uh, putting 2 into uh, cg overlap oil refers overlap cg overlap into w so this capacitance is positive to the circuit these capacitance value only constitute the current flow in your circuit the next one which we are going to see is uh, diffusion capacitance uh, diffusion capacitance is otherwise known as uh, parasitic capacitance so that we have uh, in earlier uh, due to which only uh, this will uh, affect the uh, normal uh, working of your uh, this diffusion capacitance can be uh, seen in at every junctions of your uh, uh, n mosfet wherever you can have a drain source or drain gate gate body uh, junction you, uh, those are considered as uh, uh, diffusion capacitance or parasitic capacitance so all the values they have uh, mentioned here so these values negatively impact on the working of your uh, normal transistor so in this uh, uh, fourth edition they have in uh, mentioned the characteristic curve if you go through the third edition they have drawn the characteristic curve of cv cv characteristics of most both for uh, long channel as well as for short channel that you can refer uh, later on. 